Thanks for joining us. Anoka Hennepin teachers have been working without a new contract since last July. And because both sides appear to be at an impasse, teachers have scheduled their first strike vote in 12 years. CTN's Jamie Karat joins us now from District 11 headquarters in Anoka with the latest. Jamie? Karen and Steve, that date is April 17th. And if you'll remember what prompted that meeting was the frustration from the union that actual school board members have not been present during any of the 16 meetings that have taken place so far between both sides. Well, I hold in my hand a press release from the school board asking for another meeting and stating their intent to send members to the session. In a press release Wednesday, the Anoka Hennepin School Board asked the state mediator, quote, to schedule another meeting between the teachers' unions and district's negotiating teams to review unresolved issues in an effort to find a mutually agreeable settlement, end quote. The press release also stated that members of the school board will join the district's team for the session scheduled for March 27th. In this case, because the teachers specifically asked for it, and the board really wanted to do everything possible to reach an agreement with them. We're kind of going against um, our typical procedures and we will have board members at the table. And I appreciate that they heard a concern of ours and responded to it. I think that's positive. Uh, also, I think this is going to be helpful in understanding why some of these decisions are being made. We hear plenty about the what from their representatives, but we need to look each other in the eye to truly understand the why. That's, I think, the opportunity we have on Thursday. On Monday, the leadership of Anoka Hennepin Education Minnesota met and set April 17th as the date that teachers in the state's largest school district will vote on whether or not they will go on strike for the first time since 1981. President Julie Blaha tells CTN that while Thursday's meeting is a great opportunity to make something happen, the April 17th vote will remain scheduled unless a tentative agreement is met. Even while we're talking about the idea of a strike authorization vote, uh, that doesn't mean we stop bargaining. Our job is to get to a settlement. That's the ultimate goal. Anything that we believe can get us to a settlement, we're willing to roll up our sleeves and dig into. No one is interested in, in seeing a strike. Uh, certainly the school board is not interested in that. It's just very difficult for the community, difficult for students. So the board remains very optimistic that they can reach an, a settlement. So right now it looks like a lot is hinging on that March 27th meeting between the teachers union and the school district where school board members will be attending for the first time during these negotiations and really ever. Only three can attend due to an open meeting policy, but it's not clear at this point which three will be at the table. Karen, Steve. All right, Jamie, thanks.